they go doing me now. I'm still a talk of the town. Running the scissors, I'm hooking them down. We turn the spots in the frown. Can't hop out, then we clearing the crowd. Alright, what's up, y'all? We got a new episode of <laughs> on talk of the town and we have a very drunk guest <laughs> Woo. Yeah. I gotta fuck him I fuck that nigga that nigga that come and pick him up paramedics and no need for the Russian that nigga might rip if you pick him up what's up man nigga straight up and back woo with it alright mm, no. let's let's warm up let's, let's, let's get a little icebreaker going for the people alright first icebreaker First icebreaker. This nigga is. I'm gonna ask you a question. Answer as fast as you could. First thing come on. What's your favorite liquor brand? Custom cut liquor. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't even say it. Couldn't even say it. Liquor. All right. One word to explain woo. Woo. That's that's the answer. That's it. Okay. Celebrity crush. All of them bitches. I like I, if they dark All skin. I like them. If they got the fucks, I like them. If they a thot, I love them. Matter of fact, my talk to, I like. If I need a regular joint, she good toxic too. She says she toxic. I like toxic bitches. I like Ka on? Cali, right? Cali, okay. But then if I need a Trish, Suki Hana. Yeah, I like her. Wow. Might stick my foot on her if butt. If I needed Trish. <laughs> Sukiyano, yeah. wow, shout out to Suki. All right, um, worst song ever. All these niggas shits, y'all niggas dirt. Can we like get a name? Get nah, a I'm name. ODM. I'm mm. ODM. Too too much. Let me think about if, it. If though. you not like that no more, then take a nah, shot. I'm, oh shit, you gonna go viral? <laughs> <laughs> so you skipping it? Answer. Nah. Oh, you gonna answer? You gonna take a shot and answer? Fuck it, we gonna go crazy. Worst song ever. Where he gotta be from? Well, I mean, I'm not saying anything. I'm, I'm just asking the worst song. It could be a famous person. It could be a nobody. It could be a. Nah, we gonna skip. I ain't gonna violate nobody. Y'all oh. niggas all try. That's nice, I guess. Mm. Okay, last song you listen to? Last song I listen to? Yeah. Um. Uh, last two songs. Are, no, matter of fact. What's the name of the song? Oh, I will wait for you by motherfucking Future and Future and Drake. Yeah, Drake. Okay. But before that, I was listening to Cash Cobain. What's the name of that? Boy. And then, and then, huh? What song? I fuck with boy. What's the name of that shit? I mean, I think they all sound like that. Matter of fact. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. And then they got another nigga. I think Wahim. That's Why his name. him? Yeah, why him? Oh my gosh. Shout out to why him, I fuck with his shot. Okay, so too. whatever Cash Cobain, why him song you're talking about? Nah, why him is by himself, I think. I oh, why him, Dolly? Okay, all right. Shout outs to them. Look like that. Yeah, I like that. You're shit. getting in tone with the new people. I got to. I got to see what they're talking about. A all lot right. of niggas ain't talking about shit, but you know. All right, let's go. Too much is never enough of da da da. Drip. Okay. You are most lazy about. Getting to love these thoughts. What? Getting to know these bitches. I'm. I'm. I'm oh. got time for that shit. I'm oh, getting money okay. out of here. Like, we got, <laughs> like, wait, what? I got time for that. You see those liquor I'm drinking. Okay. Um. One sentence for your ex. Stop fucking calling me. <laughs> one sentence for your ops. Stop fucking calling me. Ops too. <laughs> yeah, oh, is weird. Okay. They want a feature or something. Okay. Yeah. Um. Okay, um, one word to describe your yourself right now. Lit. Okay. You don't see I'm drinking fucking custom. Last thing you spent money on? Liquor. Okay, we see. Okay, what award should Casamato be nominated for this year from Talk of the Town? Mr. Hem. I think you need to make a category called Mr. Hem. And I think I need to be that nigga. But you know, time gonna come. Best rapper to come home from jail. Best come home appearance, matter of fact. Best come home appearance? Yeah, because a lot of <laughs> niggas came from jail. Like, these little dumb niggas get locked up. They don't know how to do no drills. All these niggas get locked up. All right, so who else in that category? Oh, uh, I don't know. Nigga, I just came home. You gotta tell me. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. I know nobody did it better be than me, though. I did that. That's been viral. Yeah, first day home, rolling on stage. Lit. 
So what happened? Got, got off the bus. Again. Got to the what? What? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if the way out and went that. back in. Yeah, wow. Got, it, okay. Yeah, shit got lit, but you know, I did nothing. I was innocent. So you clearly like jail. Nah, hell no. I hate that shit. So I how know. the fuck you get back in your first day out? Shit got shit got vacant, bro. All right. So fuck the bad stuff. How did you get to the rolling on stage? What happened? Got out. What Niggas happened? told me while I was in jail that they can't come get me because rolling loud is the day <laughs> a motherfucking I come home. So I said, what? Send the Sprinter, let me drive that shit, and we gonna get back. But they ain't let me drive though. They was like, you out. So okay. it was Operation Get Cost the with a motherfucking rolling lab. Okay. There was some secret shit. Nobody knew I was coming home. And I was on some super secret shit. And I was like, fuck it, let's do this okay. shit. That Henny look like it just bit you. <sighs> it's all right. I got you. Okay. So you went back on stage. Was people hanging you up? Yeah. That was a really good look for Brooklyn. Like, if you from Brooklyn, like, that was a real, like, meaningful, like, moment. The dap. <laughs> it was the dap. Yeah. Sorry. So, like, so people was hanging you up. Like, how you felt about that? Like, I felt good. I ain't gonna lie. I walked on stage. Motherfuckers was looking on stage like, <gasps> what are you doing here? Like, uh, yeah, I skate. Was, was nah, <laughs> escape is not funny. So, was you and Fabio speaking when you was in jail? Yeah, was, we spoke time to time and shit. But it's like, you know, people be worried, like, when they locked up, the energy not going to be the same when they get out. Bro, what? You know, like, you your mans was going up. Let's say you come home, might be in a different spot, different place. Yeah, because that's because niggas go to jail and get weird and gain their feelings and shit. Okay. Oh, you don't want to send me no money. Nigga, go make some money, nigga. Take okay. somebody's shit. Take, oh. get, on, get on hot. That's what you do in Stop. jail. Okay. You got to be on hot, you know? Okay. I don't know. Sorry. I'm new. All right. <laughs> So, okay, so the music, I mean, so on stage, rolling out, where is the music, though? It's getting done. This fucking sample mania that's going on, I don't get nothing but sample beats in my fucking... And you're not fucking with it? I'm fucking with it because I'm on the sound to the label. They not They not letting nothing go that got, uh, because they got sued already. So, they not putting that in there. So, I'm working on mad clearances. Okay, so you just did mad simple beats. Yeah, but the ones that I got that's not simple is like I don't want to put I don't want to put that out first. You know what I, mean? I got some guys. Right, that I well, you're put like out. waiting. No, I'm like just you got done. all year long. It, it's heat. Don't worry about it. You know. Can we get it? People release? wait for summer. People wait for summer. Oh yeah, right. That's the best time of the year. Yeah. That's when shit hot. I'm summer. You the summer. Well, we're going to get a song before the summer, right? Y'all going to get a song before Thanksgiving. Okay. Okay. That's a good one. Do we have a name? Letter to T-Dot. Okay. Actually, you know what's crazy? Nobody that's out even did that yet. Yeah, I know. Are you surprised? <laughs> no, Gino and Bino did some type they of They did tribute. a tribute. They did a tribute. It yeah, wasn't called Letter to T-Dot. It was something else. No letter to T-Dot, though. But yeah, besides them, no one else did one. Are you surprised? Yeah, no. I mean, I don't know, man. You know, we on our we on our own time, you know. So, uh, you know, niggas, I'd have, I'd have looked at it like it was fake anyway. You know? like, man, we don't even fuck with you. You fuck with ourselves. Okay. So, so long as it's for meaningful people, it's yeah, valid. If you don't mean it. You don't need to be faking it because I'm gonna feel away. Okay. Yeah. I mean, for the most part, though, I see, I see more. It was more genuine. I feel like love with T dot. I hope so. I so, didn't get to see it. I mean, but you heard about it, right? Nah. So how did I you? I tried get not to hear about nothing that was going on out there because because it's when you in jail, you just want to like lock all the outside off. Okay. But I heard about it through the text, and mm-hmm. everybody was like, "Oh, hold your head, bro!" And I'm like, "What the fuck are y'all talking about?" And then I kept going, kept going, kept going, and I saw it, and somebody was like, "Yo, T dot died," and I bust my head, and I'm like, "What?" So in jail you found out. Um, so what was, how was you feeling? How was I feeling? Yeah. Like what was going through your mind at that time? I'm going to come home and kill everybody. But then I had to think about it and say, you know, I got to chill out. But my mom, I definitely was on hots. Like my, my whole shit was fucked up. That was my little man. That was my, that was my best friend. You feel me? Like for real, for real. You know. Like I'm with him. I was with him every day. Yeah. You feel me? Y'all both had signed together. Yeah. And then was y'all was working on the project, no? Yeah, I, I I just was thinking this morning. 
Is it done? Yeah. Was it even this morning? I think I was thinking this shit about two hours ago. I'm about to just say fuck that and give y'all that tape tomorrow. Like I'm gonna see if don't I can't. Don't do that to the fans. Don't don't amp them up if you're no, not gonna do it. No, for real. Like I really want to just drop that like right now. Like, but I gotta find all the songs because I'm locked out of my iCloud. So nigga bullshit. <laughs> nigga about the gas the people. Nah, nah, the label got it, so I could get it from them. Like, yeah, well, I know y'all turned it in. Yeah. Y'all was rolling out like what was going up. Yeah. So I think I'm about to just drop that just to give it out. You know. I mean, we definitely would want to see, you know, T. Dot always loved music and was talking about music, so yeah. we never even seen him get to go super crazy yet. Nah, he was going crazy. That's the crazy part. Like, he, he, he wasn't even really like, he'd be in the studio and I'd be like, bro, you gotta do, you gotta do it better than that. He'd be like, bro, I'm not no rapper, bro. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm not nah, no rapper, funny. but he was dead rapping. He was going viral. You ain't gonna lie. So, yeah. like, what's one of your, I guess, one of your best memories with T. Dot? You wanna share one? Fucking hanging out the fucking window on the West Side Highway when Like Wu came on the radio. I think we hung down the whole fucking highway. Yeah, and then we drunk stopped. on stories <laughs> and snap for a good two days. Oh, yeah, that's what we do, though. Like, <laughs> we ain't never was sober. Like, I don't think the nigga came in the car every day, 10 o'clock in the morning, like, with a bottle. Teed up, ready, ready, to ready go. with a bottle every day. He, was, he always talk about the time when y'all went to the. Party, who y'all was with? Y'all had on the suits or something? Or suits? he went? He went and he was woo walking for somebody. He told us last time. Oh 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 you know oh about? um the Grammys. Yeah. And he's woo walking Michael um with, with what's his name Michael Rubin. Something like that. Yeah. But he always talked about that time. Yeah. That was lit. yeah. So everybody's like dancing now. Yeah, bro. And it's like, I can't do those dances. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I would break my fucking leg. It's so crazy, like. That nigga not being here, like I really gotta like, like I was I was like, who the fuck is in the dance in the video? Like, gotta just get a bunch of treasures at this point. A bunch of treasures got it. Gotta be, cause like I'm gonna be looking at a certain nigga and be like, T I would have danced way better than that. <laughs> <laughs> like, Yo, I'm with so it's like I just I don't know. So do you feel like it's the Bronx dance. Like, all the dances is crazy. Even from the Philly blicking to the Yo, I wanna learn Bronx. Yeah, I want to learn how to, but I, I've been but watching it, and I'm just like, all right, y'all, wow, like, I kind of, like, zesty with the situation. For <laughs> 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 so, I me, mean, but it, it look all right. Like, you feel me? Like, I want to you know learn how to, you feel me? Like, <laughs> but my hips will fucking break or some shit if I tried that shit. Look, Uzi be going crazy. I ain't yeah. gonna lie. That day he to him, he getting right. And he began sturdy. I mean, I don't know what exactly who made, you feel me, like. Yeah, so it was beef because it was like Philly made up. And I was like, nah, New Jersey made up the whole blicking thing. But Oh, I'm that's what it's called, blicking? Yeah. <laughs> that's crazy. You wouldn't do that, right? No, I didn't know that at all. <laughs> <laughs> so you definitely not going to do the dance? I'm blicking. I got to learn. No, <laughs> <laughs> Somebody got to teach so me. now you want to learn because of the name? <laughs> no, nah, I was going to blick regardless. Okay. I, I just want to know how to do it. So you feel me? I got a little treat in the crib. I could turn the music on. You feel me? Uh -huh. I'm definitely not going to be blicking in the, in the video. Like, you not blicking the video? Nah, this is the most I know how to do so far. So okay. like, <laughs> it's clip for okay. whatever shit. But um, would you try to fuck with like one of those type beats though? Hell yeah. Okay. Cash Cobain make them beats, right? Cash Cobain. This kid, Uzi, this kid MC Vert. Um, it's like now like little Philly. Oh, Cash Cobain from Philly? No, I'm saying, like... I don't know. Everybody just been telling me, like, yo, bro, you need to fuck with the Cash Cobain nigga. Like, and I'm like, all right, let's do it. All right, so, all right, so you connected with him yet? Looking for the nigga. Got to find him. He ducking? Nah, I don't know if he ducking. <laughs> I don't know if he ducking. I don't want to say he ducking. Somebody going to take this and turn it into some else. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm looking for the nigga, though. But you're definitely interested in collabing. Yeah. Okay. So coming home... Whole bunch of new music, whole bunch of new sounds. Whole bunch of new ops. Okay. <laughs> How'd you get new ops if you wasn't even? That's what I said. I, I, I got you said you got new ops? Nah, for real, for real. I'm going to keep it tortured. Okay. I'm just being hot, right? I don't got beef with nobody. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't want problems with nobody. Like, I can have that shit, bro. That shit is out. You feel me? I'm just trying to get some money and get right. You know what I'm saying? Okay, but a whole bunch of new. Let's it's say, a lot of new let's everything. Let's say new gangsters. Let's say that. <laughs> You know what I'm trying to say. Don't do that. It's a lot of it's a lot of new niggas though. Like okay. I fuck. Look, let me tell you, the new niggas. I fuck with the 41 niggas out of all of them. Like, 
feel me? Cause they from Brooklyn or just cause? I've been around a little. I've been around them. You feel me? And it's uh, like I, I jack y'all energy. You feel me? Like okay. they remind me of me. Like they on hot. So like I, hmm. I, I, I like it. And they very much and, remind but me. But I just, that. I just like, like I was with the Tata nigga, and mm. I, I told, I gave him advice. Like yo, bro, like you gonna rap, rap. You feel me? Like I be trying to be outside, still spinning, and but watch what you saying in these raps too. Like this mm-hmm. shit could come crashing down fast. Yeah. You feel me? He was like. The state can't, nah, I'm like, man, fuck the state. The feds come, they do whatever they want to do. Or like, So it's not like I'm just just amping on the bullshit, you feel me? Okay. Like, I'm giving these niggas proper advice and shit like that. Like, yo, you feel me? Like, move sturdy, you know what I'm saying? Because I'd be, I'd be mad because I know they about to go up. A whole lot of niggas about to go up. I'd be mad if niggas shit that happened to me happened to them. Like, they snatched me. I was going right up, you feel yeah, me? So. right before you could, you know? Yeah. But how do you feel about the whole naughty bop situation? I mean, <laughs> I don't really, I don't be into the whole shit, no. Because cause what I'm on now, I ain't really be too much dissing. I might start dissing back soon, too, but that's another topic. But I ain't really with too much dissing, so I ain't really paying attention. But from what I was told, mm-hmm. some up there first. You feel of me? Of course. So if you up at first and then niggas say something back, then they say something back. All right, but, you know, I feel like they doing kind of what you kind of was doing back in the day. Yeah, and that's why I can't be mad at them, you feel me? I just give them good advice, you feel me? Okay, so like, do you ever feel responsible for some of the new shit that's going on right hell now? Hell yeah. Okay. I be mad when people be like, I'm not. Like, so who the fuck is, like... Oh, so you like own that? Like you take pride in that? Like niggas know not, you. Not not take pride in it, not but it's like, it, but you know. who the fuck? Who else? Like okay. I just watched the interview earlier. What's the fuck was said then? You told me don't say, but I don't give a fuck. Who the, what? So I just watched the interview earlier, and niggas right. like niggas out here taking fucking credit for everything. Like, like bro, no, bro, we was doing a lot of shit before. Taking credit for everything. I don't know the nigga name. I ain't gonna be too on hots, but okay. I just watched the interview, and it's like. Take nigga, credit as well, like not mention like Brooklyn Drill or just like yeah, like niggas just trying like I think Sun might be from Brooklyn, but like niggas just like come on, bro, we was doing a lot of shit. So, do you think that they're just not giving flowers, or you think they don't know the history? I think it's both. You know, some of these niggas just young and dumb. Okay. Uh, All right, so let's give a little history lesson. Like what? For the people that's new to drill, what is drill to you? Talking about what's going on outside. Okay. If you're outside, is outside. Drill outside. If there's shit going on in your neighborhood, that's basically what we're doing. We're talking about what's going on. Yeah. Okay. And if you had to name, I guess, six iconic people in Drill from New York. I can't say New York. All, my, all the icons got to be, except for k Flox. No, I want to do only New York because, you know. The whole K Flox is from New York, right? Yeah, but yeah. I'm saying you don't you can't name six drill people that you should know from New York or dr- six drill iconic people from the towns. Yeah. Okay, so name them. Um, Pop, Smoke, okay. yeah, Fabio, okay, Sleepy, okay, Chef, okay. What number am I? I'm drunk. Fabio, <laughs> Pop, Sleepy, Chef. That's four. Two more. Um, I'll give the Bronx motherfucking K Flox. K Flox. Costumado. That's it. That's your six? That's six. You got to know us. Like, you know, okay. You better know me. I definitely not mentioning anybody else. Like, That's what I was going to say. So I mean, would you like an op list? I would like at least one op. Niggas ain't my ops. They just people that live over there. But okay, so. Um, Do they not deserve flowers for contributing if we to give the drill enough, shit? They got enough flowers. We could give... <laughs> Wait, what? We could give... Um, <laughs> all right. I'm what not going to be a hater. If flowers. this is what we're doing, then we're going to go 2-2 um, two, two Gs. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, that's it. We're going to leave it at that. Okay. Yeah. The reason I ask that is because... I feel like in New York we tend to not give people their flowers. Yeah, I give I give it to Sun. I give it to Sun because of this, and this is the only reason. Uh, suburban is a big, big track. I mean, no suburban is a big track in the motherfucking uh, drill movement, and no, no suburban. suburban 
wouldn't have got made if he wouldn't have made Suburban. Okay. So I, that's why I, that's why I give him that. So you give him that basically because he started the controversy. Yeah, you. Yeah. So you saying like you? I wouldn't. I'm not. I'm not saying it like that. I'm just saying you made some. You made something for niggas to go. Okay, and then uh-huh. and then yeah, it went up after that. Okay. So and then after that, it was just a lot of good shit going on. Well, congratulations! I wanted to see if you was growing. I'm grown, baby. <laughs> well. Because I feel like, you know, New Yorkers, we don't tend to give people their flowers. No, nah, I mean, I'll, give, I'll give credit. I'll give credit to where it's due. You feel me? And um, I was going to ask, do you feel like you got all your flowers coming back out now and, you know? I don't know. Feel like you're missing some? I'm missing my flowers. <laughs> you are? But I don't want no flowers if you ain't going to give me. But I'm saying, like, who do you feel like should be, like, at least showing love, saying shout something? If you had to name someone, or if the police ask me a name in the prison, I mean, in the when they lock me up, I think you need to be motherfucking giving my flowers. I'm gonna leave it at that. Okay. And that's half of these niggas. And I did what I'm doing right now. Music. No look. <laughs> a straight face. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. What are the Okay, so um. So you've named your people. You say you feel like you just feel like you could get more flowers. Do you, how do you feel about um, drill overall right now? It's in a good space. In a good space. It's in a good space. Um, money wise, it's not hard to get signed right now. Um, cause you feel like it was harder to get signed back then. Hell yeah. Why though? Because ain't nobody believing us. Like this shit took a long time for niggas. Like. You was there, so you know, like, okay. it was times where it was like, bro, we had more views than the fucking OGs of New York, like, and motherfuckers was just acting like the shit we doing wasn't go- happening, like, and then when, once they finally started paying attention, it was like, all right, you guys don't even know how to rap on these beats, like, this shit not going right, but, you know, so. Um... I'm trying to think who, who, well, for the people that wasn't around, who would you say, like, was opening some of those doors, you know, to get, for these youngers to start getting money, the younger artists? OGs? Like, people like y'all. I'm not like giving y'all. nobody that. Like, no, nobody people, opened the door. No, like, not Pop OGs. Smoke opened the door for everybody. Pop like, Smoke, but I mean, Chef and them two kind of, they got to no, 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 no. Deal was? Yeah, deal was. Like, like to make this shit a big deal, you can't give it to nobody but Pop. Of course. Like Pop. That's Fabio. Pop went, Pop went crazy. Okay. Right, and then he opened doors for other artists mm-hmm. to to for them to go. Okay, this shit is sellable because Pop made it where it was like, at first we the shit we was just on mm-hmm. was heavy. I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> you feel me? Pop put it on some. I'm gonna kill you. I'm going to fuck your bitch. I'm going to make her love me. And I'm going to make her say woo. You feel me? And then once once that sauce came into the... Because it's like we all were sharing sauce. So Uh it's like once that sauce came in there, it was like, oh. So the labels start looking like, oh, this shit is sellable if they market it a certain way. Uh You feel me? And then they started looking more into it. And they're like, oh, this shit is sellable, period. You feel Uh me? And they started coming and grabbing niggas. Okay. So I give it to Pop. You feel me? I can't. I mean, Fabi's definitely in there. Fabi, Pop, Chef, all of them. Yeah. But I feel like Pop kicked Overall. the door. Pop kicked the door down when he, because you gotta remember he was the last one. If you really remember it, like mm-hmm. he was the last one to start rapping. You yeah. feel I me? Mean? Yeah. And then, so when he threw that sauce and then the shit started working, they were like, "All right, this is what we doing." You feel I me? Mean? Yeah. Nah, he definitely was on the last one. So, do you have any regrets? Um. From back in the day. Yeah, I was supposed to do a song with Pop, and I ain't do it. Oh my that God. one, I, that's a regret. The only other regret I got than that is because of what's going on now, I'm mad I stopped dissing niggas. You, you said you're mad you stopped dissing niggas? Yeah, because everybody sound right now over dissing niggas. It was like, remember, even you told me, like, yo, you got to stop. Like, I said you have to be more versatile. They not versatile no more. They just dissing niggas and getting on, like, whoa. <laughs> So it's like, I might as well have kept going until somebody paid attention. I still feel like... It's not really a regret, though. It's like, it's like the times change for real, for real, you feel me? Mm-hmm. So it's like, 
Then maybe if I'd have kept doing it though, like maybe they didn't jack it. All in all, let's keep it stack. Our drill versus the drill right now did not really make you want to dance. It was very much let's go kill a nigga. How? We ain't got T dot boo. If the song don't make him dance in the T-Dot studio, he wasn't was, even dropping it. T dot was <laughs> dancing probably like what two years ago, I wanna say. T dot was dancing. No, nah, probably like more than that. Probably more than that. Yeah, like when yeah, when five of your shot been dripped. From the start, no. Yeah, he, yeah. He danced, remember, he was in Welcome to the Party. before that, yeah, yeah, But he even, but like, yeah, Park. Woo Walk was like our only dance, though. Yeah. We wasn't dancing. Yeah, all of this, and who yeah. made that? That's all right. I like, <laughs> oh, I like it. I don't know, but I feel like the, the drill music now is very much, makes you want to get up and dance. Yeah. Even though it is killing nigga music, it's still danceable. Yeah. So but I thought that was, uh, that was what we had the whole time. I did an interview with Source before we left. And they was like, yo, what's the difference between y'all and, um, well, now we left before I went to jail. Mm-hmm. And they was like, what's the difference between y'all and Chicago? And me and T, that was like, they don't got the sauce. Like, you don't want to dance to their music. Mm. You feel me? You'll get up and go do drills or you'll feel that shit, but you don't want to dance. Mm-hmm. Like, we got the combination to make you dance and whatever else comes with it. You feel me? Okay. But if you not like that, you definitely going to dance. You feel me? So okay, so you feel like y'all opened up that dancing door for sure. Hell yeah. Okay. Remember everybody? Th- I mean, I think Brooklyn been like that. Even when GS9 and the member niggas used to be, yeah. niggas just dancing. They not on shit till they got indicted for all this crazy shit. Yeah. And yeah. Mm-hmm. So um, so how do you feel about like the Bronx? I guess not giving um Brooklyn their flowers. I hear a lot of times they be like, "Oh, Brooklyn drill dead, this and that." I don't really know about it because I ain't. I ain't really that in tune. No, not not know about the Bronx Joe, but I'm saying like them not. No, nah, I didn't even know they wasn't giving niggas flowers. I thought I thought oh. it was like a mutual respect. No, it's but if not. they on hots, I'm on hots too. <laughs> it's not. I feel like a lot of them be like Brooklyn is dead and stuff like that. Yeah, so, yeah. That's you, what they be saying. Yeah, are you gonna wake them up? Hell yeah! I mean, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, I find it, like, the, the whole, like, Brooklyn niggas beefing with the Bronx niggas shit is kind of weird because, like, I can't fake beef with nobody. Like, if we not mm-hmm. really doing it, we don't have beef, bro, you know? So I'm not going to go and diss them niggas. Because it's niggas that saying crazy shit, like, I'm smoking on such and such. And I'm like, my brother, you never met the young man. Mm-hmm. You was t- 10 miles away. <laughs> Over there. <laughs> over the water across the bridge. Yeah, or literally over the water and across the bridge. <laughs> that nigga was over here really putting in work. We don't know what you doing over there. Uh-huh. So, But I ain't about to be gaining all that with them niggas. Like, that shit is lame, you feel me? Uh-huh. It's lame. But if niggas not giving niggas they flowers, niggas is drunk. Like, it don't mm-hmm. matter if niggas is, like, if they feel like niggas falling off or not. You feel me? Like, this is our shit. Yeah. This shit ain't cool. This is niggas try to take it and oh, this is called New York drill. No, nigga, this is called Brooklyn drill. Nigga, it wasn't no New York drill. Don't exist. You feel me? It's Brooklyn drill. Before that, it was nothing else. We wasn't. If you wanted to get on, we had the jacket. You feel me? If you was from Queens, Staten Island, <laughs> Bronx, I don't give a fuck where you was from. If we didn't jacket. You wasn't on nothing. You, you you wasn't on nothing. And that's yeah. a fact. At the time, at the but time. times change. You sit down, yeah. you waiting, you waiting line, and you, your turn come. You feel me? Okay. They turn came. Nobody can hate on that. So how do? So do you feel like you're definitely gonna do drum music now? I'm doing everything. Mm-hmm. I might do it. I might do a motherfucking reggaeton song next week. I got a song in Spanish. Word of my mother is So you fine. Learned, you know Spanish? See. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just, I'm just asking. Me gusta casa amigos. Okay. Yo. I don't want to finish. experto. Yeah. No, nah, that's too funny. No, I'm just asking because, um, you know, a lot of the younger kids is doing drill now. So do you feel like you too old for it? Or like, or you feel like you want to go and show them a lesson? Like, what no, are you, love, how you feeling? I love drill, bro. Like, I love the sport. You mm-hmm. feel me? Like. I love this shit. Hey, I'm not going to just ever just be like, oh, yeah, I'm too old to be talking about. Nah. Shit you've been talking about. Yeah, because it's like, I, if you really pay attention, like, y'all was telling me, yo, stop the this and stop the that, and I stopped it. You feel mm-hmm. me? And I just, I learned how to do it without mentioning a nigga name and all mm-hmm. that other shit, you feel me? So I know how to talk drill without 
This and all that shit. Like y'all was telling, we was telling because you kept trying to say we don't listen to your music. Nah, it wasn't. I say y'all. When I say y'all, I don't mean talk of the town. I mean like everybody was heavy on the yo, bro. You gotta stop dissing niggas. You feel me? And I did. I stopped. You feel me? Mm -hmm. That's all it was. And y'all, y'all part of the people that gave gave me that advice specifically. I was. She was like, yo, bro. Like, you're literally, like, original drill, but you really have to stop this and niggas, or this guy can go far. You feel me? Yeah. So, like, when you was doing it, because was they, like, I, I hear that now they're trying to use, like, some lyrics in, like, court and stuff now. Was they doing that with you? Yeah, my paperwork. did you hear about that? My paperwork got the folk in the trunk video in it. I was showing oh. it on live the other day. Like, it's in the, in the paperwork, right? Um, the, the exact balls they used was... Um, when I slide, what I say? How you don't know what you said? The, I don't even remember the boss. How you don't know what you said? When I slide, when I some shit. When I slide, no leg shots, aiming for heads, nigga. When I slide, homicide, no leg shots, aiming for heads, nigga. They like, yeah, you um, he has no intentions of trying to catch an attempt. He wants to kill him, like he wants to kill every GD he sees, like. And I'm like, what? <laughs> like uh, all that? Then, then it's like I I I told niggas the other day. Like, I really don't do the love shit. Niggas be trying to get me to come on their love and do what I used to do and rah, 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 I don't scream my oh, phone. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, yo, bro, I'm watching niggas. Like, I come on there, niggas get excited. They ready to go. They start screaming <laughs> at their phone. And I'm looking at niggas like, yo, you look crazy, bro. On top of that, you're not even saying no facts. Like, you just screaming. Niggas is jacking you. It's really crazy. Like, so does it get flashbacks? So when you used nah, to it go makes on? me look it makes me look crazy in my <laughs> head. Like, like boy, you was looking crazy. Like, yeah. I really sat down and watched all my lives the other day, and I'm like, never, bro. Yeah, feel me. Me, me and BMG might have to get it on. Like, he low key was lying to me. You feel me? Yeah, you but, were live about everybody. You were live about us. Yeah, I go live about everybody. But I was going to my my worst thing was going live and going to niggas' hoods, like going being in stories and spinning and looking for niggas, and that shit was in my paperwork too. So, like, mm-hmm. all of this shit, that's what really got us lit, though, because it was, like, niggas was, like, all right, we could watch this it. shit and listen to the raps at the same time and know exactly what the fuck these niggas is talking about. Mm-hmm. So, And so can cops. Yeah, and so can, <laughs> so can the federal government. So. Yeah, so um, we should not advise that to the people. Yeah, I advise you don't go in love anywhere and do <laughs> any crimes. If you're going to do crimes, you might want to. That, that thing y'all call a poo shiesty or whatever, balaclava is what it's called. Put that shit on and turn the camera Some off. Some education for the people. Yeah, because y'all niggas do not want to go to jail. There's no pussy in there. Okay. Oh, bro, it's, a yeah, it's, it's not a lot of things in there. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga says pussy. The, wow. Yeah, pussy is the one you're missing the most. <laughs> nah, I'm bro. This stand a chance. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga is too funny. Nah, but, um, yeah, so, like, I feel like right now, Everybody's like going live and like arguing and kind of doing yeah. what we used to do back in the day. But I feel like now it's like the kids go live about everything now. Yeah, it's crazy because the paperwork party are humble, humble them. Humble everybody? The paperwork party are humble a lot of niggas. I tried to throw one the other day and niggas ducked it. The paperwork party? <laughs> Oh yeah. no, my paperwork! Absolutely not. Like, I'm weak. Paperwork, probably. stop all that internet shit. But like, what advice would you give? I guess the younger people that's doing that now, they're gonna regret it later. They should chill out. Have some lawyer money, and some other money behind that too. Jail expensive. Jail is expensive. Jail is expensive, especially if you like to live life. Like, if you out here living. You gonna won't go in there. You wanna live too. So, so you gonna live in jail? Like what? Like what's living life in jail? It, you're in a fucking like that's your city. Like your crib is your city, especially right now with this corona shit. Like you're in that crib like eighty five percent of the day. If you're in a jail, jail like mediums and lows and all that other shit and camps and baby jails, that shit's nothing. If you in like jail, jail or ha or pen or mm-hmm. some shit like that, you're stuck in your crib damn near most of the day. So mm-hmm. it's. You go on this side of the fucking crib, they play poker over there. Mm-hmm. Or these niggas play tickets over here. Or these niggas play dice over there. You want to go in the yard? I mean, I play dice every day. Mm-hmm. Like, mandatory. If I didn't play dice, my head would hurt. Like, mandatory, I play dice. Okay. So, dice is expensive. You might lose one day, you feel me? So, okay. you need money. You want to do the same shit you do in the hood. You feel me? Because I, I play dice every day now, still. So, wow. 
Feel me? So okay. Just but, expensive. Um, so if you're gonna sit down and you wanna be dumb and act like you don't see niggas going to jail for doing stupid shit, like go ahead, just have you some lawyer money and have you some money for jail because jail expensive. So you was in there through like the whole COVID, the beginning of COVID, like. I was out here for the beginning of COVID. Uh-huh. Remember, I caught it. Almost died. You caught COVID? Hell yeah. I know that. Yeah, I almost, almost, almost knocked me off. Shit fucked me up. Blood clots in my lungs, all kind of shit. But you was in jail when 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 the pandemic was happening? When the pandemic, I, re- I went to jail August. The pandemic started in February. Okay, so it was like the ending of the pandemic? Mm-mm. It was like the beginning. No, because you said February, August. Yeah, I think it's ain't st- let's, let's just, whenever PPP, P, P, the, you, the unemployment shit ended, what? is when the pandemic ended. You know, right? Yo, what <laughs> I'm saying is like. Whenever the 10K stopped being 100K, <laughs> or whatever that shit was. Yo, this nigga is doing. That's where the pandemic ended. What I was getting to was like, people was like in court, like waiting for their court dates, and it kept being pushed back. going to court. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, was you a part of that happening. process of that happening to you? My shit was a little different because when I got there, um, you know the rapper nigga Chico? Chico. Chico De Niro. Okay. And he's supposed to be like, his oh, that's the ops, uh, uh, but I knew him before he was whatever, or whatever. Oh, you know so when I got there, I'm like, oh, he, I bump into him or whatever, he pull up on me, like, so we talking about the shit. He like, bro, if you gonna cop out, you might as well, because my shit was still in the complaint. I wasn't indicted yet. I mean, they came and grabbed me. As soon as the judge signed the paperwork, they came and grabbed me. So I'm like, oh, yeah, I own bullshit. Like, when I looked, and I'm like, oh, this is, I'm not even indicted. I'm like, oh, they on hots. Like, they could have sat down and watched me for another week. You feel me? Mm-hmm. And I'm like, oh, they on hots. So, boom, they came and got me. I told them, I'm like, well, the shit, this shit. Say, I'm uh, like, like, with the proof of what they had on me mm-hmm. for what they were saying. I'm like, all right, I'm, Ill, I'm guilty of the charge that they charging me, though. You feel me? Mm-hmm. He's like, well, if you're going to cop out, nigga, you want a complaint. Cop out to the complaint now, they're going to give you less time. Like, what? I'm like, all right. So I count out. So my shit different. You feel me? Mm-hmm. I had to wait for them to see if they're going to indict me or not. So I can't say, oh, I wasn't going to court. Oh, okay. nah, because But I was sat down and watched niggas not go to court for months. Yeah, like, that's what I'm saying. Just I heard that. Until they started doing like video court and shit like that. Niggas was going to court over the phone. You're not even seeing no judge. Yeah. You're going in the office and you're getting on the phone and you're in yeah. court. Yeah, and then it was video court. Yeah. yeah. Shit, was, shit was bad, bro. Yeah, and, that, and then people was hyped because they thought it was rumors like everybody was going to get out or something. Nah, it was bad bitch. It Niggas was mad was, rumors. I oh, know you that. could get two days for one and <laughs> shit like that. And I'm like, let me get it if that's the case. I'm ready to go. <laughs> this shit trash, man. So in there, you wasn't really keeping up with what's going on outside, was you? Not when I not once I left Brooklyn. Okay. Because I was the Fed. Fed is Fed is like where. Um, Remember Lust? That's where Lust is like over there by Lust. Oh, yeah. Used to be at. Okay. Yeah, so you in Brooklyn. Yeah. So I could keep up with what's going on. You know, niggas is coming in and nah, I ain't telling y'all. But mm-hmm. once I left, it was like that shit is cut off. Like, okay. You know, I know what's going so on. you wasn't like calling back home too much trying to hear like what was going on? Nah, especially because I was scared of niggas, bro. <laughs> scared like, of niggas? Niggas what? get on that phone and start playing with your fucking freedom, bro. Niggas get on that phone and want to tell you how Tom shot Harry and Harry shot Tom. Oh, I don't, like don't want to know about the niggas. You feel <laughs> me, please? Yeah, don't tell me none of that shit. You feel okay. me? Yeah, so. so it was more so to be at peace, or you just didn't want to hear what was going on and you couldn't help it? Like what? I did not want them to come and tell me I got a new case. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> like, so I need to hear. You can say that. has to be at peace. So I was just calling my baby mama. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right. So, like, Fabio was already going up before you got locked up. Mm-hmm. But I'm sure, like, you heard him on the radio and shit at that time. Did you listen to the radio on John? Well, I mean, he was on the radio when I was in Brooklyn, going okay. crazy. And then when I got to, uh, my first spot was in PA. Okay. I went to PA, they was playing him on the TV. Okay. You know what I mean? Like BET James. Okay. So I'm seeing him on BET James. And then uh, I blew PA, got, went to West Virginia. and. Started hearing him out there too? I wasn't hearing him at first when I was out there. Uh-huh. And then, but everybody knew, oh, Fabio, this is Fabio, man, you feel me? Uh-huh. Like. Everybody, like, cause there wasn't no New York niggas in there. <laughs> like so how the fuck all like, y'all niggas? Yeah, in I'm there. like, nah, nah, I'm like, I'm on some shit. Like, why y'all call me Fabio Man, bro? I'm custom model, bro. I got my own name, bro. Like, you <laughs> feel me? Like, but nobody was from New York. It was like everybody, my crib was no New York niggas. Uh-huh. So it was like I'm in there with niggas from all over. But today, everybody's just like, yeah, that's that's Fabio Man. So 
I didn't see him again till City of Gods. Okay. And then when City of Gods came out, everybody I was like, was oh, yeah, like New York City. Yeah, and then yep. they was like, oh, that's your brother that died on. I'm like, yeah, but. After that, it was like, oh, yeah, bro, going Rolling crazy. Because okay. after that, I just kept going, seeing Fabi, 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 Fabi. I'm like, oh. So I called. They're like, yo, your <laughs> man's famous, famous. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what? Hey, nah, he's famous, famous. Like, you've been famous. Like, no, 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 bro, bro, bro. You know, that's what I'm saying. Like, this nigga's famous, famous. I'm like, what? Like, today, this nigga got fucking... Uh, did a track with Elon Manning. That's fucking crazy, bro. Yeah, I seen, I seen that's going viral right now. That is crazy. Elon Manning is like... God to like niggas that play football in football New York. Football shit, facts. I mean, just in the studio and shit. So, how would you describe, I guess, you and Fabi relationship? That's the bro. You feel me? That's gang. He did what he's supposed to do for me, especially on the come out. But, um, like, he the one that sent the sprinter for me and all. He made sure I made it to Rolling Loud. You feel me? Okay. Bought my fit, all that. You feel okay. me? So, and then, like, I, people be like expecting me to go. Oh, Fabi's supposed to come home and put 20 bust downs on my neck and this, that, and that. Man, that's not what this is, bro. Niggas, I'm a grown-ass man, you feel mm-hmm. me? Like, your job ain't to motherfucking take care of me. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, we show love to each other, bro. We brothers, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so, so you feel like it's genuine for sure? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you know what happens? People feel like, oh, once their man's going up, it'd be like a, a lot of jealousy, a lot of weird stuff going on. You, don't, you don't, never ever got that vibe? I was with Fabi when Fabi ain't had nothing. You mm. get what I'm saying? And I was getting money. You mm. get what I'm saying? So it's like, when the role switch, it's like, nigga, how, it's all right. You get what I'm saying? Like, how can I be mad you going up? You don't owe me nothing, nigga. Yeah. I didn't wrap these balls for you. <laughs> you feel me? Okay. Okay. No. Yeah, I feel like, you A know. A lot of people don't understand that. They feel like, all right, my man get rich, he's supposed to take me with him. Feel me? But your job, for real, for real, is to show me the opportunities, and I'm supposed to find my way to take advantage of them. Okay. That's your job. Your okay. job ain't to motherfucking bring me. You put the fucking Casamigo bottle next to me. My job is to go like this. Or open it, yeah. And drink. This is like a stupid. We out of Casamigos, y'all. We know. Anytime, oh, we anytime. know. But, um, but, yeah, so... I'm a drink. You bring me to the board. I'm a drink. He kind of responsible for me getting signed. You feel me? Like okay. he definitely brought me around the nigga that the people that yeah signed you. And I I did what I was supposed to do. You okay. Feel me? So you originally from Brownsville? I'm originally from the Floss. From the Floss. My bad. But but I, I nigga, jumped off the my porch. My bad. Now I jumped off the porch in Brownsville. You okay. feel me? Like I never was a nigga that was outside in the Floss doing shit. I was in Brownsville doing nonsense and hiding in the Floss. Mm. Okay, so people, I guess, have their own theories of JD and Fabio and what it should be like. What do you say? Because you was there from the beginning to the end. It's just bad communication, that's all. That's the best way to describe it? It is bad communication. Mm. So you think it was fixable? It's fixable right now. But, there's no but, they just not. They just got to fix it. So what is it? Like, they're just not communicating? Like, what is I it? I don't know how to next. For real. Like, I'm not being corny or nothing. <laughs> For real, like, that's just a topic you, I... You I, I, I'm, I don't got no, nah, I don't got no parts in it. Like, I'm sure... But like, Fabi's not going to ask me to take sides. He's not going to go, oh, yo, bro, no, who you fucking with? You feel not me? not saying you have to take sides, but I'm saying people feel like Fabio could look off of JD. JD makes songs saying what could have, should have, could have happened. Mace went and did interviews. Like, I'm sure you see what's going on. So, from you, you know, being there, seeing both sides, do you feel like anything could have went differently? Or Probably did a lot for, for niggas, bro. Yeah. But what niggas wanted from Fabi was for niggas, to, for, for niggas to go. To hold hands? Yeah. Bring you, like, drag you in. Like, you feel me? It's mm-hmm. not that easy, bro. Like, Fabi walked me in. He woke me in the Columbia, like when the day Pop Smoke died, mm-hmm. the next day, he woke me in the Columbia. Sign him, I'm not going nowhere without him. You feel me? I'm not I'm not dying. I'm not going nowhere without him. Mm-hmm. You feel me? But it don't work like that. You know what I'm saying? Like that doesn't they looked at often. him and was like, yo, you're wildin', bro. Mm-hmm. Like, <laughs> first of all, we know who he is. You're bucket. <laughs> <laughs> you're wild. Like, so it don't work like that. It don't it don't work like that. So, do you think it's a lack of, like, not understanding the business or? Mm-hmm. 
and I guess, or you think it's just a hood mentality thing? And it's also niggas in your ear. That too. Like, like. I know somebody said something, man. I know you just get up and just start vibing. Feeling like that, yep. Because, look, I didn't know what was going on. CO came to my door. Mm-hmm. Yo, you better call the town and talk to your niggas, bro. They well, bro. <laughs> like my it was a lot going on. That's what, what the fuck are you even talking about? Uh-huh. Yo, come to, my, come to the office. Come to the office. I go to the office. He they showed show me the him. shit. Video songs. Yeah, interviews. I'm like, these niggas fucking, bro. And I'm like, but I, I never I never said nothing about it. I kept my mouth closed. I felt like it was something that was going to work itself out. You feel me? But it kind of didn't. It will. I mean, judging so you off have faith of, it will. Judging over the last track he made, um, God did. Yeah. Sound like you wanted to fix it. I didn't agree with every bar in there because he said I even did shit for Cosmato. And I'm like. I was a feature on the same song that I was only song I got with you. We both features on that song, but fuck it. You my little JD, my man. JD, JD, JD was definitely going viral, so I can't take nothing from him. You yeah. feel I me? Mean? I think JD is a good artist, and he knows how to like vocalize how he feel. Yeah. And I think we was just more so surprised to hear it from Fabio, because he. I mean, he said a little bit. I don't bit. know what Fabio said back. I heard JD shit. <sighs> JD made a couple songs though. Yeah, yeah. It was going back and forth for a minute. It's hard to keep up with. But um all in all though, I think that they both want to work it out, but I think egos and pride get the best of both of them. This is my opinion. You know them. I okay. feel like niggas do need to work it out. That's that's just my opinion. Okay. I can't. I ain't, I ain't saying no more than that. You feel me? I love both them mm-hmm. niggas. I was, I was that little, I told you I came home, I got booked immediately. Mm-hmm. JD heard I was in there, bumped into somebody from my crib. I was like, yo, tell him, make sure you come outside. I'm like, I'm trying to see him. You feel me? Like, I don't know hot, so nothing like that. Yeah. Trying, Chop me? it up, yeah. Gang. But I went to, I saw d Sav. Mm-hmm. I went to d Sav crib. I walked right in that motherfucker like, yo, where d Sav at? You feel me? Like, so d Sav, d Sav. It's still love, you feel me? Yeah. Like niggas don't look at me and go, "Oh, you still fuck with that nigga," you know? Because you know, you know, I fuck with everybody in Brownsville so still. Mm-hmm, you feel me? Yeah. So it's like niggas don't look at me and go, oh, "You fuck with that nigga still?" Uh, no, Cosmo, what's up, bro? <laughs> it's all love. They, they really don't got like the the whole Brownsville don't got a problem with Fabio. It's not that. You feel me? No, they don't. Yeah, they definitely yeah. don't. I mean, he was doing that's it's too. a personal thing. It just need to be. It just better communication. You feel me? Yeah. But all in all, though, I mean, so I'm sure when I'm sure that everyone has similar problems when they're going up. So when you was going up, when you and T-Dot was going up, when y'all was traveling with Favi, was like some of your like, I guess, friends back home jealous or moving weird or. No, I don't fuck with nobody. I don't give a Bro, fuck. <laughs> you had. Nah, you know, but you know me like you, you know, like I don't give a fuck. <laughs> like you feel away. Fuck you. We over here in L.A. fucking bitches. They sitting on a bed waiting 10 hours to suck dick. You think I give a fuck what you talking about? You think I give a fuck? Nah, I ain't stop talking like that. Yo. Real, look, though. I'm, uh, that's facts, though. Like, for real, if I was on Hots, that's how I would feel. But for real, for real, like, nobody, I didn't, because I brought niggas around. Yeah. I used to bring niggas right right out the trenches. Come on, we going to, we going to. Wherever. Rhode Island or wherever the fuck we going for the day or whatever, yeah. you feel me? Come on, we out, you feel me? Yeah. I never was on some, like, I never got bougie with this shit, you yeah. feel me? Never. I ain't never get bougie. To this day, I'll, you'll catch me in Brownsville at the G-Spot tomorrow, you feel me? Like, oh, my God. It ain't... Allegedly. It, I'm in there. Now, the fuck allegedly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in there, like, this and I'm rolling straight it. daddies. <laughs> oh, yeah. like, I'm in there, like, that's oh, what I do. God. You know what I mean? So like, when does like the hood shit stop? I don't know, bro. The rich shit be boring to me. Like, what's boring about? But all right, let me tell you. Like what? I'm gonna tell you. Let me see the best way I can say this because I don't want to wire myself up. Yeah, like what? What are you saying? I've been getting money. Okay. So it's like the shit that come with it is like it don't excite me. Okay. Because I was doing this when I was still chilling in the trenches. Mm. I was going to. Different states and traveling stuff. and hanging out in the bar. I used to go buy the bar out every. I would go outside, do whatever I gotta do, mm-hmm. come back and spend all my money in the bar, mm-hmm. and fuck two bitches for the night. And we doing the same shit now. 
So what's yeah. the difference? We just in fancier balls and shit like that. So like none of this shit impressed me. You feel me? So the, you feel like the hood shit is cooler already? Nah, but I got to understand that you will die. Keep going back to the hood. I watch my favorite rappers die. Like Stack Bundle died in his hood. Ching's Drugs died in Far Rockaway. Nipsey Hussle. Nipsey Hussle died in front of his store. Do you feel like, I feel like a lot so I'm of. I'm a little more sturdy with it. You know? more sturdy. Yeah. But you know, a lot of artists feel like they have to go, you know, and give back no, to the hood. Fuck no. So fuck you, them. You niggas. disagree? Fuck them. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up. I, lo, listen to me, gang. You don't owe nobody in there nothing. Because okay. the hood is back dog and cutthroat. Like, you don't owe them niggas shit. So you feel like if you make it out, you're lucky, but you're on your own? That's it? If, huh? If you make it out the hood, like, you're lucky and you should, like, you know. If you make on. it out the hood, you got your own decision if you want to go back or not. But you don't owe nobody nothing. Like, if you owe, then just trust me, it's a spreadsheet somewhere with your name and prices on it, nigga. Mm-hmm. Other than that, you don't owe nobody shit. Not, that's one thing. Niggas feel like you get on and you're supposed to take care of everybody. Money, how much money you think they giving out people? First of all, you get signed for M, they take the taxes out that shit. Yeah. You're not getting the whole M. Then yeah. your manager gets some of that bread. Uh-huh. And you, you might, if you, luckily you wasn't signed to a label before that because they're going to take some of that bread too. <laughs> Feel me? So niggas ain't getting all this money niggas think niggas is getting. Uh-huh. But the hood ain't seen that. All the hood see is $2 million. He got two M's. And he got a bust down on. Why I don't got a bust down? I used to be with that nigga outside. <laughs> That Why you ain't take the charge for me then? Like, that is <laughs> very know, true. Niggas got to know you don't owe these niggas nothing, bro. Okay. I owe you I owe you a friendship. You feel me? How real of a friend was you, though? If I don't, if, if I feel like I could leave you, that means you really wasn't that much of a friend to me anyway. You mm-hmm. feel me? Because I'm not leaving my real friends. And when I say not leaving, I don't mean, oh, I'm about to buy you a house and a car and move you out. I ain't that rich yet, but when I get there, I might get you there. You feel yeah. me? But... Off the rip, mm-hmm. you gonna definitely come to the studio at late night. You definitely gonna come to them shows. Yeah, I'm gonna try to keep like Tay Mac. I keep Tay Mac out the hood as much as I can. Yeah, the best you could. Wow. All right. So, what are some of like back to the music though? What are some of your like musical goals right now? I mean, yeah. right now, cause you kind of did a lot. You did a lot. I'm in the limbo right now, for real, for real. Like, I'm on, I'm like low key stuck in between. Should I continue on Costumado sound? Or should I really try to, like, fuck with what niggas got going on, you feel me? Like, mm-hmm. so right now I'm trying to find a balance. Okay. But, bro, I'm trying to go viral, bro. Like, mm-hmm. it ain't nothing else to it. Like, mm-hmm. I got to go viral. Like, I don't want to do nothing else but rap. So, mm-hmm. I have to do it. You know what I'm saying? I have to do it as best as I can. So, I'm looking for the best way to do it and, and just keep going crazy after that. Okay. So you really just trying to see what sound people are fucking with, or you trying to see like where you want to go with it? What sound can I do that okay. people gonna fuck with? Okay, and you don't want to go back to what you was doing before. What's that? The dissing in the drill shit. But I stopped that before I went to jail. I know you did a project, but again, but you did. Was, was you here to see like the feedback from that? What like what? From the yeah, from the project. No. I'm saying, so do you know if people was fucking with it? Would you do something like that again, or what do you think? I feel like if I'd have been home, though, we could have pushed it in a different direction. Mm-hmm. We could have been way more crazier with it, you feel mm-hmm. me? Like, T-Dot was rocking with it because I was rocking with it, mm-hmm. you feel me? He didn't want to do it by himself, Right. you feel me? Like, once I left, it wasn't, it wasn't Kobe and Shaq no more. It was just Kobe by himself, you feel me? Like, you see how Kobe by himself was? He mm-hmm. wasn't really dragging niggas, like, you <laughs> know what I'm saying? So, like, he yeah, wasn't he was really back with Fabio and Yeah, he did what he did. He, he comfortable with the guys. Yeah. You feel me? So. But he, yeah, he wasn't really heavy on music once you got locked up. I mean, he was doing songs, but. Yeah, he didn't drop them like yeah, that, Yeah, he wasn't though. going crazy. He wasn't, like, yeah. super job. I think if T-Dot was a super job, we definitely would have. Yeah, that song could have been a little bit better. You know what I mean? But so, do you want to do another project? Do you feel like you put too much time into that project, and the the cops kind of like took it from you? Like, what? What do you? How do you feel? Oh, like the way I feel is like for real with the project that I had before I left, because mm-hmm. I had a tape called Suvi. Feel me? Like besides mm-hmm. Kobe and Shaq, we yeah. had the Suvi tape, and my manager got that tape ready right now to just go. Uh-huh. But in my mind, I'm on some shit like, bro, like we better than that. So we're gonna take some songs off that motherfucker and put some new shits on there. You feel me? Because it's like. I feel like it's not going to represent me. So you're going to sit and wait for her to text back? 
Oh no, for more and one on three. <laughs> You've been heard that song though. It was in the studio. Yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't. Um, I wasn't home when he made it. I know, but you heard it in the studio. Yeah, like when the first when the first video came out. Playing and making a snippet of song. Yeah, when that first video came out, I went to the studio like literally. I probably got there like forty minutes after that first snippet. Oh wow. Yeah. Okay. So moving along. I guess. What would you say is your biggest hurdle right now being an artist fresh from home? If you have any. Deciding if you want to catch up or just do you. Well, and that's everybody's thing. Like, I'm not going to say no rappers' names, but it's a couple of rappers that came home, and I'm talking about big names, that was like, you could hear it in the music where it's like, he trying to do what niggas is doing, but you not. And he had to catch up and get right. And he sturdy this shit out. He got right. I'm not saying nobody's name, though. Right. Feel me? Why you don't want to give flowers? Hmm? Why you don't want to give flowers? It's not flowers. It's more like weeds. We don't hand out weeds over here. Because <laughs> huh. weeds get looked at as bad flowers and then niggas fill away. So we ain't going to hand that out. Feel me? Because I'm, I'm not really... I get the fucking... I get the fuck we like... 24 mm-hmm. 7 like it don't matter if i'm trying to be like like sincere with what i'm saying mm-hmm. it backfires so i watch what i'll say you feel me okay you like to call yourself mr him quote unquote yeah okay so we're gonna play a little game i'm gonna say a category and you're gonna tell me like who take a shot with me first <laughs> i didn't even up. finish the direction So I'm gonna say a category, and you say like who's I guess the Mister Him quote unquote of this category. Let's do it. You get it? Got it? All right. Chicago drill. Who's no them? No dirt. Okay. All right. That was quick. Schmarkyo. All right. Um, drill beats. Axel beats. Okay. And Mercury. Labels. <laughs> Leave me out of that one. Oh, you don't know? No comment? <laughs> take a shot. No comment? Yeah, let me take a shot. Hold on. No comment? Hold on, yeah. I forgot we got to tell him. No comment. You got to take a shot. Like, no comment. You know, people would say, like, the Mr. Him label is like Atlantic. Everybody there get mad numbers. But some people say his. You want me to take another though. shot? I'm just. Okay. Whatever. Whatever. I don't got no comment. Don't stop me Who's from getting the one of the motherfuckers. Who's the Mr. Him of Brooklyn Drill right now? Fabio. Okay. Of course you're going to say Fabio. Okay, who's the Mr. Him in New York right now, I guess, under 21? Niggas is under 21. Yeah. God. In what, Brooklyn? In the whole city. In the 41. City. Okay. Okay. I mean, I can't say the whole city. I don't really. Uh, from yeah, what I'm, you know of. From I'm going to talk about, okay, I'm going to stick in Brooklyn, okay. 41. Okay, so who's the Mr. Hem of the Bronx? 41's Ops. <laughs> I'm going to leave it at that. That's an honest answer. Yeah, them little niggas. I ain't going to lie. Them little niggas doing Which ones? They have a lot. They got, they got mad Ops in, got in mad the Bronx. Ops. Yes. <laughs> so which one are we talking about here? Nah, I ain't going to lie. The niggas, the, 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 the niggas that fuck with the nigga that, uh, that died. Oh, DDO Salmon? Yeah. DDO Salmon. Them, okay. them niggas doing numbers out there. Yeah. Yeah. But that's only because K Flocks locked up. I'm saying them. You feel me? Okay. Yeah, K Flocks is definitely. I don't. I heard like three songs on the face of the Bronx. From what I see, a nigga cut fresh home. Son look like he got it. I ain't on no dick riding shit. You feel me? Who look like they got it? K Flocks. Like, look like that's his shit. Mm. You feel me? Okay. I could be wrong. So right? from the outside looking at it, it definitely look like K Flocks got it. Yeah. It's but not. I'm. I'm. What's your opinion? your opinion? I'm not answering this question. This okay. Is your opinion. Yeah, you got a you got a talk okay. show to run. <laughs> yeah. So because Kid Flock is locked up, you say do you or someone? No, nah, I just say I I just like the little nigga your views. Yeah. You know what I mean, okay. I don't really know the other niggas. I no. know I heard of a nigga named Use G's, and he said he the face of the Bronx. Uh, all I say is really him arguing with his BM and shit. Oh, his bitch. And yeah, and I don't really know what he's saying on his tracks. Them other little niggas, they, I can understand them. Okay. 
So you can't get with the Batman voices? Come on, bro. I was looking at my archives, bro. Yeah. Remember, I wasn't jacking them since like 2019, bro. I can show you a fucking. I saved it on my phone and all that. Like, Look, I can literally you, show you. Since 2019, remember, I was like, all oh, the light skinned niggas and the white people <laughs> are rapping like this. Oh, wait. Batman. <laughs> yeah, and, wait. and for real, for real, niggas is doing the same shit. Like, so I never. I'm not being biased. I never jacked it. You feel me? Okay. Especially if you could talk like this. You feel if me? If you talk like Glenn and Wiley. Like when I get loud, my voice really get raspy. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm we not, know. We saw you I'm yelling online. I'm not faking it. You feel me? So it's, like it's, 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 it's like for you to make that voice is weird to me. You okay. know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. So move along. Who's the Mr. Him of blogs? Um, Who got the I don't know. How to, I don't know how to pronounce his name. I don't watch his Who? shit. But son lit from what I seen. Who? Um, Kai Sanat. Kai Sanat. That's how you pronounce it. He's not it? a blog though. What is? What he do? He a Twitch streamer. But he don't play no video games. I thought Twitch was video games. So they call it IRL, like in real time or something, or, or or in real life. So he just do mad real life shit. But he's not a blogger. I'm talking about like academic, say cheese, no jumper, uh, upper class, Kirkland, like. Who's the Mr. Him of the blogs? Oh, right now? I don't yeah. fucking know. So you haven't I've been, been uh, up, uh, Crooklyn been bringing me on his live, but it be too much. Them niggas, <laughs> them niggas trying oh, to Oh, yeah, you were shopping with Siggy the other day. Yeah, I spoke to some other day or whatever. So y'all good? It's not, it's, it's it was not, never no beef. It's, it's not, I can't say it was never no beef. It was <laughs> up. It was definitely up. Um, But we ain't got no beef. I was in jail with Kev Hundo. Okay. Like, Kev yeah, Hondo was in the crib with means. me. And they big homeboy, Rocco, he was in the crib with me. Mm -hmm. And one night, we was on Crip Time together, you feel me? So, I'm on some shit like, man, we not doing that, you feel me? But mm -hmm. they got beef with my means. Like, that's my means, means. Yeah, right? we know. So, it's on some shit like, leave them niggas alone, you feel me? Like, okay. as long as them niggas don't get touched, I don't give a fuck. Okay. I don't give too. I don't give a fuck about anything, honestly. But, okay. leave that alone, you know what I'm saying? That's where I'm at with it. So, but we chopped it up. I even gave him his flowers. I told him, I'm like, yo, bro, I ain't gonna lie, niggas sound like you. Like, you were one of them Batman kids. No, you was a Batman kid. I'm not funny. Yeah. All right, so who's the Mr. Him of Drip? Like, who be having that shit on? <laughs> you can't say who be having on Drip? Cause they was I I I I don't be seeing niggas in no drip. I mean, niggas be putting even on even from but it don't even from before you went to jail. Like gun and numbers drippy. Oh, Little you want me to drippy. say rappers like that? Oh, all right. and we don't have to keep it local. Key bro. Glock. Key Glock. Yeah, Key Glock. Okay. Th that's the Young Dolph was the goat. I ain't gonna hold you. Okay. Young Dolph had it like hands down. Drip? Young Dolph was the drippiest rapper. You know how we from Brooklyn. We uh -huh. know five is the drippiest rapper. Uh -huh. Yeah. yeah. But Dolph get busy. Like, that's the DNG bastard himself. Like, mm -hmm. And I love DNG. Okay. So, I mean, like, but good, Key Glock got it now that he gone. Okay. Key Glock definitely picked up where he left off at. Picked up where he left off? All yeah. right, that's cool. So how do you feel about, like, all, well, I know you've been hearing about all the artists dying and stuff like that. So, like, that you feel like, up, bro. how do you feel? You know, shit being, fucked up, bro. Say being a rapper is dangerous. Yeah, bro. That shit, like, yo, bro, it's like 50,000 niggas that don't rap, that get money, that's yeah. outside. Go stick them. <laughs> like, why you want to go get the rapper for? Like, mm -hmm. this nigga, like, nine times out of ten, bro, you see a rapper nigga, he been through it, bro. Like, I been don't know a lot. a lot of rappers that didn't go through it, bro. Like, you was never broke. You was never homeless. You never... Niggas be going through it for this shit. You feel me? Yeah. And niggas be really making it out. You feel me? Going to jail, being fucked up in jail, or whatever the situation yeah. is. Like, niggas be going through it to make it to where niggas is at. And man, niggas be getting hit for nonsense. Like, when PNB died, like, niggas in the feds is ignorant. So niggas making jokes about the shit because they think they're the top killers in America. You feel me? Oh. But I'm in there and I'm like, damn, I remember that nigga brought us out. 
feel me? Brought us to Philly, gave us mad Ross the pasta from his spot, his mm-hmm. shop. Go, all right, he showed love, and I was yeah. cool as manager. I was supposed to go there, but we shot like whoa. Mm-hmm. I was supposed to go. They was like, "Yo, if you gonna stay out here one more day, I'll be we land and come to the crib." Feel me? Like mm-hmm. he was showing love to niggas. You feel yeah. me? Like so he went out on some like sucker shit like that. Yeah. So I don't really be jacking niggas clapping the rappers unless it's like. Matter of fact, I ain't gonna say that. I don't be jacking niggas clapping the rappers. You feel me? Like, nah, go clap. It's 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 niggas to clap. If niggas is rapping, trust me, they not really trying to kill everybody. So, go clap the niggas that's clipping niggas. Like, that's knocking niggas off. Okay. Those the niggas you want. You feel me? It is certain rappers that's out here wilding. Go get them too. Then you feel me? Like, okay. Uh, but all in all, like you know, rapping people say it's dangerous, and then like you know, we're losing people constantly. You're sh- you're also an artist. Do you ever feel like? Th- do you ever like have those thoughts? Like you gotta keep watching your back and stuff like that. Bro, I'm on point, like a fucking number two pencil. From the moment I walk out my house, I literally look out the window before I walk out my crib. Okay. I can't go. Hey, like, I ain't. Okay. Cause this shit, it it. And that's another thing I be trying to tell these little niggas. Like, yo, bro, you you would think. Or I, I'm dissing these niggas. I know all it. Bro, you got ops. You don't even know. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Yeah. I done been, I done got into it with niggas, and I'm like, who the fuck was that just now? You feel me? <laughs> like, luckily, I ain't easy to kill. <laughs> like, who the fuck was that just now? Yeah. Like, this shit get wicked. Niggas would just be like, faint out mm-hmm. and think they your ops. Mm-hmm. Or a nigga just be like, he too tough. I want to see if he really about that shit. You yeah, feel me? People just like, be tough in. And, and, and that shit, that shit dangerous both ways because you could die or you could kill a nigga and go to jail. Mm-hmm. So in both ways, your shit could come to a stop. Yeah. You feel me? Just because a nigga wanted to try. Just because a nigga playing around. Okay. You feel but me? But not even on something like that, but just on something like that, that's fuck with you emotionally. Like a lot of artists have been open up lately about how they depressed and they suffer from PTSD. Do you feel like you're one of those people or? Not from, not from, not from. Not um, from being an artist, but from like other shit. From like jail and shit. Yeah. Yeah, like T dot fucked me up. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, that fucked me up. I I need a certain shit that gotta happen for me to get right. Mm-hmm. Like, my my brain a little fuck off that shit, you know. Yeah. And I ain't get the grieve like like niggas see me post him like six, seven, eight fucking posts back to back. In my stories and yo, bro, nah, nigga, you got to grieve. I ain't get to do that. I ain't yeah. get. I couldn't cry every day. I couldn't do all that shit where I was at. You feel I me? Mean, yeah. You feel me? So this you, this my my way, you know. So showing memories. Yeah, but that stuff. shit. I'm 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 a little fucked up. Mm-hmm. I'm a little fucked up. You feel me? But and my, like, how are you dealing with it now? I mean, of course you're not in jail no more. So do you feel like you are gonna talk to people? Do you feel like you just want to spread all the advice that you could? Like, I be trying to stop niggas from going to jail, bro, because for real, for real, niggas be telling. Yeah. And niggas going to be so surprised All who tell. Time. I done seen killers. Like, you got four, five, six of them under your belt. You finally get caught. You give up everybody. You feel me? Like, nigga, you was out here knocking niggas off, bro. Like, what Either the way fuck? You're gonna How you up. wasn't set up for that? You wasn't ready to go to jail? Nigga, you yeah. supposed to be like, man, eh, like, so... I be trying to, like, let niggas know, like, this shit ain't... But niggas is tell niggas... Well, that first 48 shit ain't a joke. Niggas mm-hmm. tell as soon as they get in that room. Like, mm-hmm. they'll yeah. tell on you. They'll tell on you. And shit not... And I be trying to tell niggas, like, you... Because this shit come with means. Like, you get means when you on the rap shit. It come with means. Like, mm-hmm. niggas pop out the blue. All of a sudden, they, like, your man on the low, like... Or you're on a high, like... Who the fuck are you for real? Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like, so, you never know the type of niggas you around and what could happen because yeah. the dangerous field we in. You feel I'm me? I'm sure. And you, you don't want a nigga to tell on you because... I mean, yeah. I, don't I feel want like to tell on you, bro. You can't go to trial. You can't go to nothing. Yeah. yeah. I feel like I, I, I talk to a lot of artists and I see a lot of artists. I guess the way that they deal with it is like they take perks or they smoke and stuff like that. Like I'm on probation. That's even the worst part. I can't really see how fast I've done this little bottle. I'm not even drunk. But <laughs> keep it to with you, like. So like. Hey, it ain't. I can't really. 
I couldn't do it off the rip. You feel me? Mm-hmm. The drugs they got in jail, I don't take that. You feel me? I'm not saying we want no, you listen to take me. drugs. <laughs> slow that, slow that. I know what you're saying. <laughs> but it's like, I done seen niggas family die and they go in the cell and smoke the K2. You feel me? And, and it's like, all right, you, you never smoked K2 before, but fuck well, that. I need a release. you're going through it, yeah. I couldn't do it. I'm not into that. You feel mm-hmm. me? I got to stay sturdy all day. So it's like, I had to like just take that shit and mm-hmm. try. You feel me? Yeah. And so it fuck you up, bro. It fuck you up. Uh, you gotta be, you gotta know how to be a different level strong, you know. Yeah. You gotta know how to be a different level strong. I mean, is that something that you would want to share in the music, or maybe we could expect that, or it comes, it like comes in, it comes in, it, it so. comes in. Letter to T dot. I got a lot of my chest on that song. Okay. Probably. So definitely the letter to T dot song. Yeah, I started off saying that shit. I don't care who finna tell me I'm weak. Like, I don't care. Okay. That's my man. I feel like I feel like yeah, a lot of the, a lot of the um city is real judgmental nowadays. Yeah. But you never cared. I don't give a fuck. You run up if you want to. You never cared. If running up is a choice you choose to make, you know, God be with you, you feel me? So Okay, and then now when you come home, I feel like before when you before you got locked up, everybody was posting you from different blocks to different people. When you come home, do you feel like you're getting that same love? Do you feel like it's a whole bunch of new pages now? Like, what are your thoughts on the whole blog culture right now? Because you was not feeling people's before. I ain't really. <laughs> I, all I know is y'all are on the radar. I don't know nothing else. Like, I don't know who else is lit. I mean, it's other blogs. Like, you know that what cool. it sounds like. Um, I see that. Pages. I thought that was a rapper. No. I seen like white. Every time I look on there, I see white people. Like, no, you don't. <laughs> I swear to God, I do. What NYC sounds like? It's not um white people. I be seeing white people. I think his name is Nine One Seven Rex, and then there's some other kid. I be seeing on TikTok, and then um. So you saying they post mad white people? I be seeing white people every time I seen it. I mean, we got I white people white doing people. drill now. For what? <laughs> well, all right, I can't say nothing about the Nine One Seven Rex kid. He from Sheepshead Bay, from the P's or whatever, okay. but. The, the tick, this m- little motherfuckers I seen on TikTok, and then I seen some other man. I don't, I don't know, okay. shit be like watered down, you know. Okay. That's 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 what I could say for sure. Once this shit left like Brooklyn hands, super watered down. Okay. Super. Watered down as in not creative, or watered down like anybody trying to do it now. Anybody could come do this shit, and I think I won't even say because of Brooklyn. Cause of me, like there's no somebody, there's nobody, there's not even feeling myself for real, for real, bro, for real. I wasn't jacking nothing. If I thought you was on bullshit, I'm going to. There's nobody going, you're whack. (laughs) There's nobody going. I mean, why are you here? There's nobody doing that no more. It's just everything is. No artists are doing that. Like Uppercut's very much be telling niggas when they whack. Yeah, but it's like like, I. For real, I feel for like real. everybody be trying to play I'll it jack safe. Upper class, that's my son. You feel uh-huh. me? Like me and him, you know, we got into it too. You know, I got into it with everybody. Everybody. Yeah, we we, we got into it. Yeah. We ended up meeting up with each other at three o'clock in the morning in the middle of Flatbush <laughs> on the Ave, like, you feel <laughs> me? And, and and we whatever squashed the shit, you feel me? So I jacked son whole bot and platform and shit. The way he do shit. Yeah, but he's not a nigga where just because you said this nigga's whack, niggas is gonna go, I'm not gonna bump him. Mm-hmm. Niggas is just gonna go, Oh, up I said you whack. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? For real. Um, I like, don't think nobody had that super impact where a nigga said he was trash and niggas wasn't jacking him. Only uh, I feel like the only person we really did that and stuck with it was Six Nine. When Six Nine came out of the station, nobody listened to him no more, none of that. I feel like now people don't care I feel like, like what's going on with I you. I feel like the only thing that really, like when I used to say niggas is pussy, because I would never say a nigga that's not pussy was pussy. Okay. When I used to say niggas was pussy, niggas used to really be like, all right, let me sit back and analyze this shit <laughs> real quick, you feel me? Okay. And niggas used to really look like, oh, yeah, this nigga ain't no shit, you feel me? Wow. But I'm going to stop that. If you pussy, you got to pass. Just right. So you giving niggas a pass? I don't give a fuck what y'all doing. Stay out my way, please. No bother me. I don't want no problems with nobody. Like right. if you pussy, be pussy. Like I'm pussy too. You feel me? Casamato, <laughs> <laughs> five years from now, what do you see? What does it look like? Five years from now, Casamato Records. 
You know what I mean? Oh, the record I label? Yeah, I ain't about to rock the whole way through. You gonna sign niggas? I'm trying to run this bag up, and then we gonna get, we gonna, we gonna, uh, yeah, we definitely gonna sign niggas. Like, low key, my first little bag, that's what I wanna take and do with it. I wanna just start the label, because I know who hot. I know, know who, who hot. hot. So, who hot right now? Who hot right now? Yeah. From the city? From the city. Man, my 41 niggas, man. Shout out Tata, man. Shout out, shout out, shout out, shout out. Are you just saying that because you met Because my niggas. I fuck with them niggas. Listen, man. I got a fucking post I posted where I was like, nigga, we the grits. You feel me? Like, my generation, we the fucking grit bows. You feel me? Okay. Those is the grakra boomers. You feel me? <laughs> you got to pass it to the grakra boomers. You can't just sit here and try to. Yo, pass that Henny, bro. Just give it because you dropped to drop it. Just give me it, bro. Give me it. Don't worry about it. Can't even worry. Yo, sir, I got you. So, so those the Gagra booms. Yeah, the Gagra boomers. Okay. You got to give it like ain't nobody else. Ify, you know Ify, Ify yes, foreign. I know. Ify is. gets busy. That's my that's my little brother. Yeah. You feel He's me? That's big, bro. But well, he about to get consistent. All you right. Know? Yeah. You know? Okay. He about to get yo Ify. Sturdy up. You know. <laughs> They out here playing on your name. They saying you ain't getting cut. Anyways, the reason I asked who you would <laughs> sign is because do you feel like you know what it takes for someone to be a star? Or do you know a star when you see one? You got to know a star. I, I swear to God, I called everybody off the red. You like who? who I called red? Pop. Look, I called Pop when everybody else was like, this nigga ain't so got... why you ain't give him a song then? Give him a song. You said you regret not doing a song. No, Pop look, me and Pop met, not met. Me and Pop saw each other in the motherfucking gas station across the street from Brookline. You know, both of us don't even belong over there. You feel me? We in the gas station, okay. and motherfucking, he like, yo, cuz, take my number. You feel me? Y'all in the studio tonight. You feel me? I didn't really know Pop heavy like that. I knew who he was from the hood. You feel me? But I didn't know him heavy. You feel me? So. Like I said, I, I was in Brownsville doing shit, you feel me? So who I knew from the floss was like from here and there, seeing niggas and I, I being yeah. around. So, like, I see son and son, like, yo, come in the studio. Ah, right, let's do this. So I'm like, all right, let. I go on the fucking car. My phone dies immediately. I lose son number, you feel me? He pulls me up in Miami, like, December 2019 or some shit like that. We was out there for all bezel weekend or some shit like that. I think it was like November or December. Mm -hmm. He's like, yo, bro, we was supposed to do that track, bro. Ah, ah. Me, him, and 10K in the fucking kitchen. I'm in the pensy. He's like, yo, bro, we supposed to do that track. Ah, ah, ah. And fucking, I, I don't say, yo, bro. He's like, yo, look, I'm about to go to Cali. I'm like, all right, we going to Cali too in January. He's like, I'm going to be out there. So fuck, we might as well link about there and do this shit then. You feel me? But, you know, that shit never got to happen. So it wasn't like I regret it because it couldn't happen. Yeah. You feel me? Like we could have got it done. Timing. It was just shit just kept going left. You feel yeah. me? Okay. All right, but you definitely feel like you know what a star when you see one. Yeah, like I knew Pop was going to be lit like off the interview before he had a song. You okay. feel me? I said. Off, oh, the Mel TV interview? Remember, yeah, the Mel okay. TV interview. And he was like, I'm going to be there, nigga, bro. And I'm like, yeah, son. Son, mm -hmm. go crazy. You feel me? He got to. You got no choice. Once you yeah. say that, you got to step up and go crazy. You feel yeah. me? And he did. When I heard. Big drip. I was in Florida. I'm okay. down in Florida doing my thing. Feel me? And I heard the uh, when Favi dropped the, the the EP or LP or whatever it is called. Um, I'm bumping it. Heard two cars. I kind of already heard two cars and shit already. Cars, I didn't hit Big Drip before. Mm -hmm. So when I heard Big Drip, I'm like, Oh, this nigga's out of here. Mm. I called them. I said, well, Listen, bro, I'm, I got I got I got twenty grand for you right now, mm -hmm. right? I give it to you, you feel me, and, 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 and take care of everything. I'm about to stop rapping. I'm about to try to manage the nigga. But that's when he was fucking with P. Gutter. And I'm like, I ain't stepping on P. Gutter toes, you feel me? Like, I ain't got time for that shit. <laughs> Yo, so P. Gutter got involved free, free in anything Gutter, you know? that like, was happening through Brooklyn. Yeah, P. Gutter that was, was definitely. Crip. Anything Yo. that was Crip, Yo. he had his hands off. You got a free P. Gutter, man. You but, feel um. Me? Yeah, so yeah, just know like what a star when you see Yeah, one. you gotta know. Like it it it'll it be it'll be a song. Like you gotta hear it and go, you're gonna hear it and just be like, This nigga's out of here. It's no way. Like it's one nigga that we we pushed. Like um he he just act like it, it's not I'm cat. Um Fame Cobain. Y'all pushed him you feel like? What? If he tell you we didn't push him, he's cat. I I'm not. You my man. You know I ain't got a problem with your game. Like I didn't say. I didn't. No, no, no. I'm, just, I'm surprised. He, I didn't think that. Like me and T Dot 
And mm-hmm. Fabi and I think Fetty was the first niggas to play his shit like on our on our stories and shit. Mm-hmm. And he started going up. He kept reposting that shit, reposting that shit, and more people start listening. And mm-hmm. He ran up. He did what he's supposed to do. You know what I mean? But like. Yeah, like, I hear when a nigga got good shit. You know what I'm saying? I know it. So, people feel like, do you feel like there's a thin line between, like, being inspired and, like, copying? Is it a thin line? Yeah. No, nigga, if you copy, you <laughs> copy. What the fuck? Because people feel like, you know, once Pop Smoke died, everybody had this whole Pop Smoke I'm voice. not, let me tell you, pff, don't get me started. <laughs> I'm just asking, what are your thoughts on Junior that? Choi's a dub <laughs> off the rip. Like, I don't... I don't even know what you're about. You know who that is? No, no I'm no. telling you. Like, I don't like the Pop Smoke sounding people. I don't like them. I'm not jagging them. So, you don't, you don't think that they're just inspired by Pop Smoke? Fuck that. Why you didn't do that when he was alive? Maybe they wasn't inspired yet. <laughs> Pop, we ain't going for that. <laughs> we ain't going for that, woo. You feel me? Like... You should have been inspired the whole time. I ain't going for that shit. So it's not, so it's not, it's not a thin line. It's either you copying. It's either you jagging my son's shit or you, or you fucking, I don't know. It's either you just jagging that shit. Like, uh-huh. like, all right, we're not going to go with the pop niggas because it's a couple of them. And I ain't trying to burn nobody bridge. Yeah. You know what I mean? So what are your thoughts on, like, people jacking pop smoke stuff? <sighs> there can only be one. And once you number two, three, four, five, and six. There were six of them you feel like? <laughs> <laughs> Not him counting. It's four of them. Okay, come back to it. Okay. You know you ain't getting me to say anything. No, no, I'll no. Tell you right, I'm going to say no, one. No, Junior no. Choi's a dog. <laughs> Who? Junior Choi, J-N-R, C-H-O-I. I heard him since I was he's in the feds. He's from the I'll, UK, though. He's I don't know what he's on. I'm not jacking him in no kind of way, bro. I don't yeah, know. He's from the UK. He's not from the I don't know why. Okay. Oh, he's from the UK? Yeah. I heard him while I was in the feds, and I'm just like, no fucking way. Yeah. Turn off the thing, no turn off. Fabio did a song with him. You still don't fuck with him? I don't give a fuck. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? I don't give a Man, who the fuck is he? Okay. Talking, all right, talking. all right. I didn't know. Shut the fuck up. Man. Okay, so you don't fuck with him at all? I don't like anybody that tries to sound like Pop Smoke. Okay. Okay. This is where I draw the line, though. Because you have to understand this. Like, if you ever really been around Pop, mm-hmm. you know that's really his voice. He wasn't pretending. But. You feel me? So if you, if you rap and you sound like Cars and you talk... And you sound like cars, I can't be mad at you. Mm-hmm. But if you got a regular ass voice when you talk and you sound like cars when you rap, turn up the tune. Yeah. <laughs> That's why you're mad at me, It's something not right, bro. Like, shit, yeah. not right, shit not adding up. It's very inspired. You know, like, you cop, um, what was the, what was the shit that used to be like, it's not fake, it's inspired. What was that shit? What, you talking about, what is it? What I don't looking? know. He was it clothes or some shit like that? Where they'd be like inspired. They wouldn't call it fake. They'd be like, the shit's inspired. I don't even know what you're talking about. That could be so many it's things. It's bad shit, but they was calling it inspired. They wasn't saying like fake. The official, yeah, yeah, yeah. they'd be like, it's inspired. Yeah. So he was inspired by Pop Smoke? A lot of motherfuckers. I won't say he. I won't, I'm not calling anybody out. I'm just saying inspired. niggas is a... Yeah, man. Oh. Heavy on the inspired. Have you inspired, Stop being fucking inspired, bro. Get but your yeah. own sound. So tell the people what they're going to see, what they're going to expect this for the year end. I'm giving you Kobe and Shaq this year. This year? Me and T.I. Tape coming out this year. Okay. Bro has to be heard. Is his story not over yet? You feel me? Okay. And you're going to get a song from me before Thanksgiving. A song before Thanksgiving? Kobe and Shaq this year. Kobe and Shaq this year. Tell the people in this camera where to find you. How can they tune in? How could they fuck with your shit? Well, you can find me on Instagram and Instagram only. I don't deal with nothing else. TikTok? Not yet? I have a TikTok. That's I just haven't good. signed into it. Okay. Yeah. I think it's Young Costumato. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> go go look. Like, Costumato. 
Um, Young Costamado, Y-O-U-N-G, C-O-S-T-A-M-A-D-O. Feel me? Add me on the gram. Feel me? Shit about to get lit. Yeah, and if, if if it don't get lit, it's going to get lit another way. So, and that's positive. That's not negative. You know, we got to act case. with you. Just in case the police is watching. You know what I'm talking about? Because like, <laughs> they be wild and they take anything and turn it into anything. Yo, if it sure. don't get lit in one field, trust me, I done learned 10 other fields in my little time locked up. So, I'm going to make shit happen. For sure, for sure. Okay, definitely. For sure, for sure. All right, and we out.